What up guys, Shane Dami here with another unboxing and um, today I got a package from RWB, I don't know if you can see it there but RWB manufacturing, but um, if you guys didn't know already I won their contest for one of their pro mods, either the EJ Williams or the Joey Swisher pro mod and you know I had to support my boy from California EJ and I got his mod. So, um, I think that's what this package is, so let's get into it. Ugh. I have scissors here, I'm stupid. And there we go. Oh, we got a letter. Shane. Not me. <laughs> Here it is. EJ's Pro Mod. Congrats on winning the Pro Mod. Kens are the classic shape with the addition of our bullet tip. I've left the Tama off and everything separate because the sour mash paint can sometimes transfer to the wood. I'll let you do that. <laughs> you have a black Kusa string and a spinner bearing because you know that's pro. Enjoy, Shane. Not you. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Uh, all right. Let's get into it. I'm excited. So we got some RWB sticks and a black Kusa string with a bearing. Fire. And this, ooh, ooh, we have the EJ Pro Mod Ken. If I can get it out of the bubble wrap, here we go. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. This is so pretty. Ooh, the bullet tip. I have my scale. I'm going to get my scale after I pull out the contents of everything. And then... Ooh, a Sulab. A Sulab pin. That's so cool. I don't know if you guys can see that, but Sulab. That's so cool. Thank you guys so much. Because I don't know if you guys know that I'm a pretty pretty big pin collector I love I love pins anything to have to do with pins or buttons so this sea light pin really means a lot thank you so much <clears throat> and we have <sighs> the main part the sour mash painted Tama oh my gosh it's so pretty I got a few little nicks here from shipping, but that's not a problem. Ooh, that's a nasty nick. Um, I don't really care though, cause it's gonna get played. So the nicks don't bother me so much. But ugh, I played with EJ's Pro Mod. I played with this um during Chrome Takeover when me, EJ, and Mel from the Clock Shack went, and his was broken in and played perfectly. So um. Cannot wait. Cannot wait to play this. It's probably going to be the thing I'm shredding the most. Okay, so I got my scale. And um, I don't know why I turned it off there. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, have my scale. Let's do the Tama first. The Tama is 71 grams. The Ken... 74 grams, 3 gram difference, not really that big of a deal for me. Um, let's take these cups off carefully. Okay, there we go. Try not to damage anything. Just want to see different weights here. 38 on the sword. 36 on the Serato. In perfect EJ Slinger fashion. Can't wait to string this up and play it. But, um... I also wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I picked up over at Chrome Takeover because that happened this last weekend. And um, the funny thing is this Pro Mod came in on that Saturday that I left for Chrome Takeover. So when my package came, my mom texted me and told me my Kendama came. And so I was really upset because I wanted to play it all throughout Chrome Takeover. But oh well, what you going to do? But here's the Pro Mod and I got some other things here. <clears throat> if I can grab them. So I got this Soul Pioneer in a trade. I got the Ken and the Thomas separately, but it is a Bubblegum Pioneer 
which is great. I loved it. I played most of this through Chrome Takeover simply because I didn't have that, but yeah, got that Pioneer. And then I also picked up a Soul Flow Ash Cups. And the main reason why I picked this up is because this is my favorite Soul Flow like of all time, like out of all the ones that they have out, this is my favorite one. And because at the end of the at the end of Chrome Takeover at the dance studio at that event, Chad was like, Alright, all souls all souls twenty dollars and I was like, That means flows. So I ran up, talked to Chad, asked if the flows are twenty, and he said yeah. So I copped this. Super sick. The grain on this one is pretty nasty on the Ken and on the Tama, but yeah, Soul Flow, super pumped. And also, Chrome Pro Mod, Talk Hilled May. Um, funny thing about this is, um, since Adrian Esteban won the um, Pro Model Contest for Chrome and won all of the Pro Mods, he was selling a couple just to close homies for a ridiculous price. I'm not going to say how much, just because... But um, for a ridiculous price, and um, I couldn't pass it up because of the price, so I picked up a Talk Hill May. And so let's open this up. I've only opened it up a couple of times just to weigh it, but um, I haven't played it at all. I mean, I pulled up a lighthouse and I did a lunar on it, but that's about it. There's like no nicks on it. But yeah, Talk Hill May. <sighs> this Pro Mod's so pretty. But yeah. So these are all of the um, all of the Konamas that I picked up over this weekend, and uh, stoked to be jamming them now that JKA month is over. So yeah, be expecting clips with the Talk Hild, the Flow, the Pioneer, and EJ's mod, along with some analog stuff coming up because I really want to get back into my film grind that I've been lacking. So. Um, yeah. Oh, and I also want to show you what comes in the <laughs> Slay Dog bag. So it comes with some sticks. Your smiley face sticker. Classic chrome. Another chrome. And a chrome Slay Dog sticker. Is there anything else in here? I don't think there's an extra string in here, but it's okay because I have string. Shout outs to uh, Chris Cabal. Love you. But um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. There's going to be more stuff on this channel. Hopefully, I'm going to film some edits and whatnot. I just started work, so um, I don't know how much time that's going to take up. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try to get back on my film grind for Instagram. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys.